Hello believers, in this video we will learn how to reach the first 100 million coins in just 7 to 10 days. Furthermore, all these topics are covered throughout this video. 1. Reach the first 100 million coins in 7 to 10 days. 2. Earn 1 to 500 million plus coins for free. So believers welcome back to episode 12 of the 0 to 100 OVR as F2P series where our aim is to earn 1 billion plus coins and reach 100 OVR from the new account. For watching other episodes make sure to check out this playlist. Also make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing contents like this. Now let's move to point number one. Reach the first 100 million coins. You all know that the aim of this series is 0 to 100 OVR as the F2P series aim is to reach 1 billion coins and 100 OVR squad. To be honest, I have already reached 100 million coins, and we will actually re-look at how we reached the first 100 million coins in just 7 days, and how we can use a similar process to reach more 200, 300 million or even 1 billion coins. Right now you can't see 100 million coins in my account as I have already invested all the coins. Anyway, I am going to give you 3 steps that you have to follow each and every day, whether you are already good or bad on investment. Let's look one by one. Step 1. The daily rewards grinding. So the rewards grinding really helps us to earn more coins daily. Let's do some reward grinding and see how we can earn some good coins. First I have completed all the missions. From the Centurions event, and I have a lot of tokens to play this dice game. So let's try the dice game and see what we can get from it. The first try. Alright I can get three possible rewards here. Let's open the pack and see what we can get. Alright that's animation. Center back and Milenkovic with 93 rating. Awesome, bro. I can replace my center back. Now this is my second try. This time 19x bronze players. Let's go for another try. And this time 50 gems, bro. Ha ha ha. Again another try and it's 100k coins. With this I completed fourth laps and now another try. It's 91 rating CDM Heinen. Let's try more. It's only 100 gems. Another try in 80 to 92 rating pack. Let's see if we can get animation here. Ha ha ha, no animation. Let's open more until we finish all the tokens. Wow, nice, I got deck. Another try and not that great reward again, few coins. Now I got 91 rating CDM again. Now this is the real troll, bro. Only 10k coins. Ha ha ha. Once more and I got Dudek. In a day I got two Dudek, which means you can get more Dudek from this dice game. We are almost about to complete tokens, this is the last try, and this time something decent bro, got 92 rating center midfielder. Now we completed laps for 5 times and here I have free 1k gems. Here we have more quest rewards to claim and like this, completing missions and getting more fodders you can make a lot of coins in one day. You can make something around 4 to 10 million plus coins in one daily like this. And that's how you can make 100 million in just 7 to 10 days but if you follow step 2 and 3 then you can make 100 million even in one day. Now let's see how. Step 2. Pack opening. Actually there are a lot of ways to open packs. You can open packs from gems, competitive points, advanced competitive points or using different types of tokens. And you can even claim packs from completing quests or even the event missions. We already did opening packs for free by completing missions but opening gems and competitive points is remaining. So the store packs can change the whole game and earning coins very quickly. It doesn't matter which pack you are going to open, but what matters is whether the pack offers a good amount of tradable or untradable players. I never suggest you open any of the untradable packs from the store in the recent scenario, as they are really not worthy whether it's for building 100 OVR squad or for earning coins. In the future, if I found a good store pack with untradable players, then surely I will notify you. But in the recent scenario, the tradable store packs are really worthy. You might have questions on which pack is best. See, open whichever tradable you will get the guaranteed players most of the time, and it's very rare to get the 95 plus players, but even the 85 to 97 and 91 to 97 have almost similar chances of giving 95 plus players, so opening which pack is dependent on you. However, I prefer you to avoid other tradable pack, and choose the UCL pack as the UCL players above 90 rating are more in market price. 
That's the reason this 88 to 97 rating UCL pack is really awesome for instant coins. This pack offers two X88 to 97 rating players, and there are high chances you will get at least one 90 plus players most of the time and see the recent market price of 90 to 95 players rating UCL players. It's literally very high, and remember they will surely increase in future. Like I repeated to you every time the winning UCL quarterfinal teams players will get plus one OVR. Now just the thing is, you have 50, 50 chances of getting both a winning or losing team. I hope you are getting my words. Anyway, you might have less gems to open packs, but through the help of this video, you can literally earn 55k plus gems in just one month, and if your account is new, then it's confirmed you can earn 65k plus gems. So make sure to check this video, the link is in the description section. Now I want to show you a demo by opening this pack. Haha, <laughs> not even animation, means I got a low rated player but that's not an issue. If you want to get 90 confirmed UCL players then, make sure to wait for the other 90 to 95 rating UCL pack, which will cost you around 15k gems. That pack is actually going to arrive after this 88 to 97 pack will expire. Usually that pack and this pack repeats each 3 days and you can wait for that pack this time also. Also in the Division Rivals store packs you can get a lot of good rewards and tradable players. Also remember tomorrow on April 11th the rewards format will be changed and... You can get better rewards so don't waste your competitive points. I hope you are getting me, I am saving my competitive points for tomorrow. Step 3. Now the last thing you can do to earn a lot of coins and reach 100 million plus coins in just 7 to 10 days is from investment, and for that you really have to be updated with me. See the investment basic knowledge is going to be always useful for you but whom and which player is going to change and updated frequently over time by EA so to be updated you have to watch my videos regularly and if you want to learn other pro investor strategy then you can join our discord server. In our Discord server you can chat with different people with different investment perspectives and you can get 24 hours help anytime about investment stuff. So just go and join it as it's free and you can join with the help of the link given in the description section. Now to know more about upcoming best investment opportunities from where you can literally earn 1 to 500 million plus coins let's move to point number 2. Earn 1 to 500 million plus coins. So recently there were great investment opportunities yesterday from the UCL quarter finals match. Even though I didn't upload yesterday I gave a notice or announcement in the Discord server from the match between Real and Man City or Arsenal and Barian, the winning team is the best investment but, ha ha ha, the match went draw due to which investment got risky this time. Both the matches went to draws. But no worries again today, there are two UCL quarter-final matches between Atletico versus Dortmund and Barca versus PSG. So today also the winning team is going to be the best investment. See I can't confirm exactly on whether the winning team price will increase or not, but there is a high chance they will get excessive demand until their next match happens. There will be a total of two matches of two rival teams, and the one with a high score will win. So in case Barca scores one and PSG scores zero in. Today's match, if PSG scores three and Barca scores one in another match, then PSG is going to win as PSG score is three and Barca scores is only two. So what I want to say from here is, until the next match happens, there might be good demand for Barca players, as our assumption is like Barca won first match, but when people will know, next match is won by PSG, and even quarter final match is won by PSG, PSG players will surely rise a lot, and Barca players will decrease as winning quarter finals means getting plus. 1 OVR. So today watch the match, and invest in the team's players who will win. Now the profit is going to be dependent on how much you invest, and how much players will rise. Also yesterday match went draw, and the players from all the four teams is not rising as investment is still risky, and no one knows who is going to win the match between Man C vs Real and Arsenal vs Barian in next the 17th of April. You have to watch match in the 17th of April too. At the moment investing in the UCL players without getting a fixed result of the quarter final is risky because I made a similar mistake. In the 0 to 100 OVR as a F2P account, I invested in a lot of UCL players randomly yesterday before the match started, but ha 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 the match went draw and they are not rising. Now if I sell them I am sure of loss, and if I don't sell them I don't have coins to invest in other players. Up to 17th of April, match is not going to happen, and the results are not coming for 7 more days. So if I don't sell, I will miss. 
investment for those seven days. And even I will miss today's investment from two UCL quarterfinal matches. So, just wait for the result to get confirmed profits. Anyway, I think between Real and Man City, Man City may win that match as the next quarterfinal match of Real and Man City is in Man City home ground where between Arsenal and Barian, Barian may win in the match as next time it's Barian home ground. I am not saying they will win 100% sure, but they have great advantage as it's their home. Ground. Rest is your choice, ha ha ha. I hope you are cleared. Now if you have any doubts then ask me in the comment section. I will try to reply. So yeah my believers bros that's it for today's episode and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing episodes. I will meet you with the next one. Till then your lovely host Mr. Believer signing out.